Ooh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again. So, we got another crazy leak for you man right now. Regarding Carl the Cobra Frotch airing out Anthony Robert Belchua. I'm sure you've probably seen it. Well, tell you, you ain't seen it because I'm leaking this for the first time and no one's seen it before. So we're going to get to the video, ain't no one's seen before, 100%. So he's called me a prick and I've gone back to him and said, who are you fucking calling a prick? And, um... You know, he's come back and said, you, I don't like you. I'm like, Fair enough, you don't like me. But all I've done is been honest and give constructive criticism on what you've done since losing to Ruiz and Usyk and where you're going now, you're fighting Dubois. There's no need to get personal. No need to start on a man's hooter. It's looking pretty good, by the way. And then you've got your £10 and your £20 notes rolled out on your bed. He's saying, get on my level. Oh, no. Get on my level. Levels. It's all about levels. Where's the humble guy gone? Where's remain humble? Stay humble. Remain humble. You can relate. Oh! And as I said, your wealth is oh. in character, not in material objects. Oh. Listen, you talk about levels. He says, I'm not on his level. But he's talking about money. Fair play to him. He's made a fortune. He's smashed it. But let's talk about levels in terms of legacy and fights and career wins. A little fat kid from Mexico made him quit for fuck's sake. He spat his gum shield out and he's looking looking around at the, looking for the corner, looking for people in the crowd to help him out. He got punched from pillar to post. The referee's looking at him. Do you want to carry on? Do you want to keep fighting? And what's he done? He's quit on his feet. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Something the Cobra would never, ever do. And he can take that to the bank. So you heard the rant there from Carl. Obviously, you can check his channel and see the full leak. Uh, man. Man. Now... Listen, I ain't got a problem with what people do outside the ring. As long as you are solid when that bell goes, right? If you want to get out and floss your coin, like for example Floyd. Well, Floyd, he fought bums, but let's take Floyd as an example. Floyd, he was corny with the money. We all know that. Corny, Floyd corny with the women as well. Fact. Yeah? A washed up rapper, Nelly. Nelly took his woman. So Floyd ain't got it like that with the women. That's what he ain't got. He got all the coin, but that's all he's got. Yeah, that's why Floyd had to make that strip bar. Because it's, it's the only way he can get a pipeline of females. They look at him and think, oh man, he's five foot five with shoes on. Hmm? Ne Nelly's six foot, so it's one of them for Floyd. Yeah, Floyd had to make a strip joint to pattern himself with the females. No game having arts. <laughs> he, drag he dragged Miss Jackson on all to them, all them, all access shows. Oh man, this Miss Jackson, is she my woman? She Nelly woman, Floyd. Yeah, you was the hustle. She played your ass. Anyway, I've digressed. The point is, Floyd Corny. But, when the bell went, he kept winning. So it was like... Oh. Then you got AJ. Yeah? He truly down bad. Because, like Carl said... I mean, in my opinion, I, I argue, can you even have a legacy of money? I mean, you probably can. You get a whole bunch of internet fangirls. Why be... He worth 200 million. Yeah. Some man get, they get excited by how much coin another man's got. And they'll use it to justify the things they do. Yeah, YB, he can't fight a lick, but he paid. Yeah. Do you want the medal? As far as I'm concerned, go do something else. Go do p paper, p paper pushing. Go click some buttons on a screen if you, that's what your profession is. If your profession is fighting, you must fight. But what we find is... I mean, Floyd's probably a good example, to be fair. When people don't have any substance or identity or per their own perception of themselves, when they don't have one, what's the most generic thing to go with? What you're told to go with? Oh, look at my car. Look at my coin. Because the system's told you that's what it is to be a big boss. Yeah? Oh, the coin in the bank. Yeah, but 100%. Yeah, well, when Mr. Blobby hit me on the side of my head, I ain't gonna do nothing. In old times, yeah, masculine culture was based on, unfortunately, how much, how many places you've conquered. And I'm not saying it's right, but that's the bottom line. It wasn't all about money. It became more shekely. As man has become feminine, yeah, having money's a safe place to be, right? Having a whole bunch of coin, that's safe. There's no risk there. Taking heads clean off and going and getting yours is a whole nother ball game. It's risky. P 
People don't want to take risks. They want to sit there and Ellis check out. And that's AJ. That's all he got. All he can talk to Froch about is his coin. He can't say, Froch, you're wrong. Look how many look how many wars I've gone gone through. Look at my war scars. Even when he's in there with 40-year-old Pulev. AJ was running from Pulev. He almost smoked him, I think, in the second round or early in the fight. And they ran from him for 10 rounds. Andy Ruiz, Mr. Blobby, who popped his cherry. Andy Ruiz can't punch for Toffee. Yeah, Chris Ariola was stuck its spark on Mr. Blobby. Didn't do nothing, Mr. Blobby didn't. Went 12 rounds. Who else is there? Luis Ortiz, 65-year-old ass. Thought Mr. Blobby didn't get stopped. Andy Ruiz don't stop no one. That's what he, People, he just don't. Stop people like that. He stop your big ass. Yeah? Andy Ruiz don't stop no one like that, but he stopped your big ass. And I won't even mind. Everyone can get caught, right? That was my base case. I said, hey, man, anyone can get caught. Let's see how he comes back. He come back. Politicking and running. Yeah, that's what's in your. I told you what, man, a while ago. Not that I'm a big Nostradamus looking ass, but I told you, man, there's a big bitch in that guy. Big one. And you see it in the pseudo gangster culture he portrays. You see it here. Oh, look at my money. Get on my level. It's kind of literally this cat. Yeah, AJ's a 15 year old stuck in a 35 year old millionaire's body. Look at the money I've got. And that's why I'm always sceptical now. You know all these hippies who come out, all the hippies and fake pseudo-religious people come out chilling, like AJ was for years. And I think I may have mentioned at the time, it's easier to be all pseudo-spiritual slash religious slash godly when you're winning, right? It's easy to say stay, hum stay humble. And AJ had some great bars, some Gandhi bars. He said, oh, you know, value isn't in, what did he say? Wealth isn't in monetary value, it's in it. It sounded pretty good. Listen again, 100%. Proper Gandhi bars here. Political bars. Religious, pseudo-religious bars here. Peep this one, people. Yeah. Remain humble. You can relate. And as I said, your wealth is in character, not in material objects. Your wealth is in character, not in material objects. When he was winning. Then he fell off and was dashing you six belts, and now all talk about his coin. The same way I got a video coming soon. AJ, a few years ago when he had the belt, said, "Oh, I don't care about belts. Yeah, the belts don't make me, etc., etc." Two twos. He lost the belts, and now he's politicking with Eddie Hearns and El Chakel, Turkey Salomon, Sheikh Gaddafi, Turkey Salomon, Sheikh, Turkey Prince Turkey Salomon, Sheikh Gaddafi, Muammar. Yeah. Shekel U6 belt. So clearly it's all about the belts. Because when you can't win nothing like that, when you can't win no war or booty, you have to find Elisha Kellaways to get on, essentially. Because you ain't a warrior like that. AJ ain't conquering nothing. That's what he's not doing. Apart from a mixed martial arts fighter. And Otto Wallen. Come on. Come on. You can't even conquer Andy Ruiz, yeah, if people. If this was a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, yeah, Andy Ruiz was that guy who posed up through Anthony Joshua's door. You see them was there? Yeah? On some Nefandaral Viking thing. Come through his village and tore the shit up. What did AJ do in response? Oh. He out there. Boop, boop, boop. He don't wanna fight. He don't wanna get revenge. What they call it? Get get your revenge. Uh, essentially, the point I'm making is he didn't want to get it like he got it. You understand, people? As far as the universe is concerned, Andrew Ruiz still owes a debt. AJ has not collected the debt Andy Ruiz owes. As far as the Warriors universe is concerned, there's a debt that's been unpaid because AJ he's scared to collect. Yeah. Andy Ruiz still walking around here with his consciousness intact. AJ's wasn't. AJ wanted out of there. In fact, he, it's one thing to lose your consciousness. It's another thing for a man to break your spirit, though. Right? Andy Ruiz didn't actually just snatch your consciousness. He did the worst thing. He broke your spirit, literally. It's taken AJ. We still don't even know if he's back. But for sure, people, that fight, he was a big bruiser. Come forward, have a go, kind of guy. He gets popped by Andy Ruiz, what is it, 20, 20, five years later. Five years later, he might half be back. Still untested, though. We're still yet to see him get clopped on the side of his head. 
And to be quite frank, looking further into the Otto Wallin situation, that fight was seven rounds. So he wasn't that ferocious. Right? If Wallin can make it seven rounds, why couldn't... I think, did Wallin quit or get knocked out? Let's have a look. Otto Wallin. I remember, if I remember correctly, he wasn't even like he got smoked like that. I'm not sure he got smoked. He might have quit or something or retired. I'm not sure if he got murkled. RTD. What's RTD mean? I think he. I don't think he got murkled. I remember thinking, watching that fight, oh, AJ was just getting started. The point is, people, it went seven rounds. It took seven rounds, and AJ, yeah, it must have been, look, three minutes. So he got stopped at the start of the sixth. So AJ had five rounds and didn't knock Wallen spark out. And Wallin is a bit of a boxer. He's not Usyk, though. My point. If AJ can't even get rid of Wallin in six rounds properly, what are you going to do with Usyk? Oops. So there's a na the narrative that AJ's back and he's different. Not really. Because Wallin should have been... He, AJ didn't put Wallin down once in five rounds. Hmm? Wallin wasn't even there to win, people. Usyk's going to be slapping AJ in the head again, breaking his rhythm. AJ needs a bit like Wilder. He needs time and confidence. If you're slapping him in your mouth, slapping him in the mouth, he don't like it. He gets put off his game plan. Now in Garnu, he's just too slow. And Garnu can't box like that. And Garnu can't pepper things out and touch you all over and move off. He's stiff as well. So he's perfect. Big heavy bag. Anyway, listen, this ain't the AJ hate channel. I couldn't care less. As long as he gets his big ass in there. I ain't got a problem. If you want to flush your coin like Corny Floyd Mayover, then do that. Remember at the time, a few years ago, AJ and Floyd was in a video together, yeah? And no one was interested in Floyd, because he five foot five. Come on, people, stop. There's a whole bunch of women in the crowd, yeah? And ain't no one checking for Floyd like that. He was down bad, genuinely. I, I, I cringed to Floyd. Floyd was there like... Oh, like <laughs> some bird would pull up, yeah, and go take a photo of AJ, and Floyd was there like... Trying to get in the mix. <laughs> so at least AJ got that, though, right? AJ, you might have no heart in your chest, but at least you're six foot five. You'd be okay. He'd be okay. AJ be okay. <laughs> uh, but now, I, the reason I told you about that Floyd Mayweather and... In fact, you know what? Let me find it now. It's too funny. Anthony Joshua Floyd Mayweather. It's a bit of a muggings for Floyd. A proper muggings for him. This, one, this is why, yeah, the guy 50-year-old and he still can't give no one else their flowers. Because he, look, this one here. Oh, there's too many pagans with a copyright, though. Anyway, you can look it up yourself. Female puts mood. Yeah, you, essentially, you can see here, like, that picture says it all here. This picture says it all, yeah? So AJ's there with a the girl. The girl's gone, look, the girl's gone straight to her, to AJ, yeah? The girl in the, you can see it, this one, this one here, yeah? The girl in the red's gone straight to AJ, and Floyd's is sitting there like a sideman. Yeah, Floyd's that five foot five side man who walking around with what they call it who walking around with the god the god of the Nan and Floyd's just there trying to get some scraps like looking down <laughs> it's bad Floyd <laughs> Floyd's sitting there plotting oh how can I get this chick some money because you can't you can't talk to her another way that's what this video shows look at the watch it yourself type in Floyd and Anthony Joshua it'll come up Floyd knows he has to have, have coin because he can't step to no females no other way this chick is tall as him, right? In taller, look. Look where Floyd's barnet ends here in this top right picture here. Look at this one here. In fact, I'm going to go in there. I'm sorry for you, man. You, man. I might have other things to do right now. Everyone's trying to... Oh, he's smiling it off. He, well, he's, in, at the start of the video, he's smiling it off, but everyone's checking for... Look, this guy here. He's bad for Floyd. Jigaboo looking at us. Oh, look, everyone leaning in. Floyd... <laughs> if it was anyone else... Bad for him, but this guy Cornball, he talked too much as well. This one here, look. And I think at the end of this picture, so Floyd's eyeing up the female, yeah. The female walks <laughs> past him. Watch. The female <laughs> walks straight past him. Oh, allow Look, Floyd trying to get his arm into the mix. She ain't interested even a bit. She ain't trying to get a picture photo with dude. <laughs> She's gone right into AJ. <laughs> Floyd deserve it though, cause he be he be, you know what I mean? He, you think he that guy? You ain't got it like that, Floyd. You five foot five. 
Yeah, someone got to be five foot five. I'm not big either. I'm like five nine. I'm a, I'm a borderline man these days. But that's what it is. You'd never see me acting like I'm flossing like that. Oh man, you know, Floyd. Number one, Nelly took your girl. Let's start there. Number two, come on. It's bad for Floyd. People, everyone knows Floyd got money. They still don't want your ass. That's what they don't want. Corny ass, dude. That's this, AJ learnt this corny game from Floyd. Yeah, Floyd taught this guy how to be corny. Don't get me wrong, the big bird. Come on now. Big bird, get in the mix with Floyd. More times she want the bullets when I uh, watch it. <laughs> no, she should listen. The, the big birds, they go anywhere, right? They will do it. Take anything that's going. If you're melanated, you, people, it's, it's been known. Big birds, they like melanated. So it doesn't matter what it was. Floyd, AJ, they take anything going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big bird looking ass. Uh, let's have a look. There's a few times it gets violated though, still. Anyway. AJ, you corny. You corny for you, you corny for all the lies you tell the kids. Oh man, you know, be humble. You know, ain't humble. That, and that's fine. I ain't saying it. Sitting there telling you, man, that he shouldn't be flossing. But to call it what it is. Yeah, money is my god. And I wanted to show people how rich I am. Yeah, just call it that. Do what Andrew, be an Andrew Tate slash Floyd Mayweather. Don't pretend you like you really like the humble like that because you're not. You was humble till you're lost, which is how most people are. We, we can all be godly, right? We can all believe in God and all talk about the Bible when we're winning. When you lose, though, it's like oh, Tyson Fury. When Tyson Fury loses, he's on the drink and on the dunk in a hand up his nose. There's no, there's people, there's no God found in alcohol, in my opinion. There's no God found in La Coca. There's no God found in. Pablo El Trapo, El Trapo Escobar. You understand, people? When you put that Pablo El Trapo Escobar up your nose, God definitely ain't signing off on that one. And I've been there. I'm still there. So I'm not, I ain't professing to be godly, though. Stand, people. I put two, two bits up my nose. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You, you, what, you want me to come on and lie? I come on and lie to you, man. Yeah, it's the YB partial to two, two bits. He may be, allegedly, reportedly. Some people might say, yeah? But you never see me sitting here, oh, be godly, be humble, be really, no. Because most people who come spouting that line about how you need to do this, need to do that, they're all pagans. Yeah, they're all lies and frauds. In fact, I'd argue 99.9% are just talking to sound virtuous, signalling, virtue signalers. 100%. I mean, look at the Catholics. Hmm? I said it. They're not even just one. Every I believe every religion, they're all doing it. Yeah? It's a bit like politicians. To, pe to seek the power to be in a church or to be in... Uh, to want to control and or organise people, you probably got some sort of things in your head. Because me personally, I'm just trying to live and let live. I can't give a... F you mind your business, I'll mind mine, is how I feel. I ain't trying to be all in the video. I ain't trying to be all in everyone's business. You do this or, or you do this. I ain't doing all that. Yeah? Anyway... Ultimately, what Carl Fox said was true. AJ, you got punched up. But I'm lying. You got punched up. Yeah, and the, the Cobra told you he ain't never gonna, he ain't never quit, and he ain't never quit. So I salute Carl for that. And that's the. If there was a currency to go on, this would be the currency. Bear in mind, you're supposed to be a boxer slash, slash fighter. That's the only reason you got coin. So the real currency isn't how many, how much of a marketing. Essentially, AJ is a Ponzi scheme slash marketing scam. He was sold as Afrikandulis, and he turns out to be a dude who's got a soft temple area. Yeah? Really, if AJ's coin was relative to what he does in the ring, he wouldn't, he'd be an average fighter, is the truth. He's been pumped up, fighting bums, Charles Martin. Vlad, he's old. He's 42 years old, people. Do you know how hard it is to fight when you're 42 years old? Against a young 26 year old bull. Get realistic here. Yeah? That's AJ's big claim to fame. He went life and death with a 42 year old. Who almost knocked him out. And could have done if he had oppressed him potentially. I'm not taking credit away from him. But that's what happened there. Yeah? Vlad almost knocked you out and you was backpedalling. You didn't want to fight like that. We saw the other dude at the weekend. Bam Rodriguez. The guy he was fighting Estrada. Estrada's like 40 year old. Or 35. He gets put down. He get up and goes straight back to fighting. He weren't running. And in fact, he ends up scoring a knockdown himself. That's how you fight. You ain't got that in you, though. Even with 50-year-old Vlad. And we know Vlad can't squabble like that. 
If AJ had gone in there with his elbows and his chin down and started scrapping with Vlad, Vlad would have been cooked. Vlad's never been out to fight like that. And you should have been the bull to put it on him and get that get that out of him. But you ain't. Because you ain't old school. Baby, how many old school man brought the bitch out of Vlad? That's been in there. He had to go to Manny Stewart to teach him how to, to backpedal and jab and grab. So he ain't a fighter like that, Vlad's not. He's not nasty and he's not in the mix like that. He a jabber and grabber. A big old jabber and grabber. Anyway. Um, before I go, actually, let me peep this one quick time. Quick thing here, still. I think it's... Did I take Don't... Gone. Gone. So what I take from the whole conversation is that Anthony Joshua was really, really pissed off with me to call me a prick and to, to come back at me and say he doesn't like me and then tell me how much money he's got. Come on, no, my yeah. God, God. Get on my level. Get on my level. It's water off a duck's back. To be honest, I don't care who I upset. There's no... Per They're like little threats. There's small threats in there. So here's some more leaked messages, he says. FFS, a little man half your size made you quit and you've not been the same since. Imagine what I'd do to you. <laughs> so some people in the comments said, oh, if Carl Foch is stupid, AJ would do this. In fact, I heard Spencer Fearon. Spencer Fearon was saying, oh, AJ's got big hands. He'll put his hands around Carl's neck. AJ ain't like that, though. AJ would not do that. Yeah? He just not like that. Not, to be quite frank, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would happen, to be honest. If Carl could go in there, yeah. Carl, to be fair, Carl's defence is leaky. I ain't gonna lie. His defence is leaky. He'd probably get caught. But if Carl had put his chin down, yeah, and just waded in, who knows? AJ would get tired, ultimately. He'd get tired and he'd probably look for a way out. That's what, that's what would happen. If if Carl had some tight defence and tightened his leaky defence up. But, obviously, AJ is the bigger man. Again, Andy Ruiz is... Like six foot two or something. No? Right? Mr. Blobby. So, who else is little that AJ struggled with? I mean, Takam's not that big, and he was giving AJ not trouble, but he was bopping AJ as well. Anyway, AJ replied to them bars and said, That's boxing, things happen in real life. So, AJ's implying that in real life he'll do something. In real life. AJ said, I don't like to talk too much. And then put in real life, dot, dot, dot. What is with this? What is with this talk about? Again, I, I have to believe. Now, AJ had two parents at home. So I'm not sure why he's lacking this, this sense of security. Or he, he seems nervous, if that makes sense. Well, not in real life. But AJ, you've done nothing in real life. Do you know what I'm saying? So what are you getting at here? You ain't hard in the ring and you ain't hard outside the ring. You ain't getting it. You, 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 call me a lie. What evidence is there? Maybe AJ's like V for Vendetta in the streets. Maybe he is. But I, I believe AJ, he'd be listening to too much drill music. You put a 2 2 drill music on and it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you ain't active like that. AJ, it's just music. I hate to break it to you. I know it, people, you can put drill music on you yeah, and it feels like, yeah, 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 yeah. Gets your hype up. But that's all it does. It don't actually mean you're a gangster. Hmm? I told you the other day, even the gangsters who think they really doing drills, when the filth turn up, when the filth turn up to take your freedom away, every single one of you drillers, oh, man, oh, you dragged out of your nan's house in your boxer shorts and you crying somewhere, talking about police injustice. Talking about this, that, institutional. Talking about X, A, B, C, D, Y. About how the system wasn't fair. So you ain't gangsters either. You victims. Fake big bosses. Yeah, because Pablo Escobar said, the great religious slash spiritual slash philosopher Pablo Escobar Graveria said, it's better a jail cell in Colombia Sorry, it's better, it's better a grave in Colombia than a prison cell in the States. And that's how he lived, and that's how he died. Fair play to him. Salute to him. Yeah? He went out how he lived. He lived by the sword. I don't even res I don't respect all the things he did, yeah, but at the end of the day, 
He lived by the sword and he died by it. You fake drillers out there ain't doing nothing. When Uncle Sam come get your ass. You crying somewhere. Oh man, you know, I'm in, I'm in a cell and I wouldn't wish prison on nobody. No one ain't asked your, ask your ass to go there. Yeah? No one ask you man to be drilling. Don't be crying now. Oh man, I wouldn't wish prison on my worst enemy. Don't do dumb shit then. Yeah? That's what you don't have to do. Unless you claim to be innocent, which is a whole different debate, but the majority of you, man, have done bad things, so suck it up and crack on. Understand, you aren't gangster like that. That's what you're not. And Asia, you damn sure are not a gangster like that. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't never done no drills. You just put two two Spotify in your ear and it pump it, boost your boost your ego up, boost your head up too much. Yeah? Because in real life, Carl would slap you on your head. I'd, tell, I'd train Carl to deal with AJ. I'd teach him just to clop him right there. Yeah? Sucker punch him right there and he'll go whoo, Humpty Dumpty looking ass. And he ain't getting put back together again. You know that, people. You clop AJ here, it's over for him. Over. Yeah, over. So forget about that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell 100%. There's no doubt about this one, people. Stop it.